Good evening and welcome to another video on All Hail the Ale. It is Friday night and I did say it was going to be a stout weekend and I was going to work through a collection of stouts and just try a few new ones and uh, I've had one and I fancy something different. You know, not because I don't like stout, but I just want something different. I like to mix it up on occasion. I have all my favourite beers, but I do like to mix it up. Anyway, I'm waffling. We're going for a beer from an entirely different continent now. We're going outside of Europe, across the Atlantic. And we're going to the US of A. And uh, it's a brewery I've not tried before. Neither here, or when I've been in the US, or indeed anywhere. I've not tried any of this beer from this brewery, or indeed any beer from the brewery, not just this particular beer. And it's this one. It is Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. It's 5.6% uh, it's ABV, and the name says it all is Pale Ale. Let me read what it says on the, uh, first on the little neck label. Up there, on the neck. It says, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale is a completely natural ale, brewed with the finest malted barley, whole cone hops, brewer's yeast and pure water. Each bottle is conditioned naturally, creating a unique and flavourful ale. And it says, also on top of that, this American craft beer is a living product, best stored, cold and enjoyed when fresh. So, no clue as to what hops are in it. No clue as to what yeasts are in it. But we do know that it's 5.6% and in the UK it's imported by Fuller, Smith & Turner. And it's not suitable for pregnant women. And to recycle where possible. So, I have no expectation other than the fact that it's pale ale and what to expect. Now they say it's conditioned in the bottle and yes it is, there's little bits of yeast floating around and I did not know this until I read the bottle just now this very minute so excuse my ignorance so we're gonna have some floaters but let's see what see see what we get fresh seal can't use bottle opener well how else are we gonna get it off could go the old-fashioned route and use your teeth or the the, uh, the curb stones as I used to do in my youth when I'd lost a bottle opener anyway let's pour so we have a pale ale. No surprises there. It's quite pale, quite clear. Let's try and avoid the majority of the floaters. It smells hoppy and I'm nowhere near the glass. The pour isn't great for me. Um, we have quite the head, quite a few bubbles. What have we got? A solid two fingers of white head. Like I said, it smells hoppy. So there's evidence of a bit of yeast going on. Not a huge amount. But it's quite carbonated, quite lively, as I would expect from a bottle conditioned beer. Like I say, it smells hoppy. Nothing tropical, it's literally just a typical hoppy beer. Interesting, in as much as there's nothing coming through. Some some hops are obvious, they, they, they have that dank smell like mosaic, or they have that citric smell like citra, or uh, sort of Fuggles has its own unique scent. This is just generic hoppy to me. Uh, I'm sure someone out there will tell me exactly what hops are in there. In fact, I'll have a look before I post the video, and I'll mention it in the in the description, uh, and then I'll correct myself later on. But let's uh, get through that extremely well retained head um, that seems to be building from the underside quite well. And uh, yeah, I expect it to be lively. Cheers. I'm betting that's Citra. I'm probably going to sound very silly in a bit when I read up and find out it's probably not Citra, but the flavours lend themselves to Citra quite well. It's 
clean tasting. Fresh tasting, if that makes sense. And whilst it says it's craft, I, I will. It tastes a little bit produced on a larger scale. It's a bit brew dog in that sense. That's not to say it's bad. It's to say it's been. What's the words I'm looking for? Been, it's been over and over again it doesn't taste small batch it tastes like something that has been honed maybe over time and I mean look at the clarity yeah it's it's clearly not small batch and it's not hazy I like them hazy it takes time effort and money to produce them that cheap because it's one pound eighty a bottle by the way, uh, from Sainsbury's. I mean, it's it's all right. It's all right. Like I say, the hoppy flavours lend themselves to citra. There's sweetness through the through the malt. It's there. It is a good middle of the road pale ale. It's not going to win millions of people's hearts in as much as it's not going to be the next best thing. But it is a good solid beer. I can't knock it too much. I like it. It's got flavour. I like the citra, citra type flavours. I like the sweetness on the malt through the finish. I like the fact that it tastes fresh and clean and crisp and it, to me, lends itself very well to being a nice summer beer. Yeah, I quite like that. Hmm. How much though? How much do I like it? Would I buy again? Yeah, I would. I'll be honest. That sweetness is a bit of a surprise. The citra type flavours are pleasant. If not, maybe needing to be a little bit stronger for my personal taste. I'd like a bit more hop forward, but again, everyone likes things differently and they've brewed it to their liking. Can't knock them. But how much more? How much more do I like it than, than, than the three? I think a good 3.75 on this one. 3.75, maybe a four. I'll reserve that judgment till the very end. So it's either going to be 3.75 or it's going to be 4, depending on how I feel at the end of the end of the glass of beer. But yeah, like I say, I think the label represents the beer quite well. You know, the green, fresh, clean tastes. Yeah. It's not a bad drop at all. And for £1.80, it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's bigger than your 330ml box. It's 3.55. That's basic maths. It's 25ml more. That is what? That's a single shot of something. Do you get an, an extra shot's worth? No. No. I'm talking rubbish. I'm waffling. Ladies and gents, this has been the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. I've been Nick, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.